guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So as you can see, today we're going to unbox the Fenwick Advent Calendar. And to be honest, I did not even plan on like buying it. Uh, but then I got some requests from you guys, like some of you actually wanted to see it. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's see. <laughs> uh, by the way, I can't believe I'm filming today. Like we went for a couple of days to Portugal. That was actually my um, birthday present for Robert. Uh, and our flight back was this morning at 7 a.m. So that means that we had to get up at 4 a.m. And just for reference, I usually go to sleep at 3 a.m. So yeah, there's that. So I was just pretty much like napping the whole day, but uh, now for some reason, I just felt like I'm full of energy and I just want to do that. There were like three advent calendars when we go back today so at our door doorstep so I kind of feel like I really want to see what's inside okay so the Fenwick advent calendar you see how beautiful it is I think this is, this is one of the most beautiful designs this year I really love it it's very Christmassy which I mean I do prefer Christmassy advent calendars and this is how it looks inside I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see everything because it is actually quite big and I'm just going to put it like that and yeah let's start so day number one up over uh, we have some cards in here uh, this one says the three wise men were onto something when they brought frankincense as one of their gifts the aromatic note is enhanced by a melange of cardamom saffron and cinnamon an inciting blend you'll keep coming back to so we have a fragrance right this is Ormond Jane London and Oh, uh, we don't know what fragrance that is, but this is the fragrance. Uh, let me just open it and show you. Yeah, so this is Armand Jane, created in London, it says, and this is Eau de Profond 8 mils, uh, in this kind of like a simple bottle. Let's just have a quick sniff. Mm, that is actually really nice. Uh, it's really nice. If you like kind of like woodsy, slightly spicy fragrances, uh, then you're going to love it. Uh, it's it's really really lovely, and I think this is like a really nice scent for uh, that season of the year. You know, uh, for when it's a little bit like uh, colder, like winter, autumn. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it aside. Door number two over here. So here we have uh, some molten brown. This is fire pink pepper, 100 mils. I'm actually quite happy to see some molten brown. I feel like this year we did not really get that that, that much molten brown in advent calendars, and I personally really love uh, their shower gel. So yeah, that's a good one too. Day number three. So here we have a tiny little uh, bottle, but this is actually Bio Effect EGF serum, age defying serum. So this is I think. This is three mils, but I think the full size is like actually 15 mils and it's very expensive. So as much as I don't really like getting like samples like this uh, in advent calendars, especially the ones that are a little bit more expensive, this is one of those products I can actually forgive them. This is uh, a very pricey product by itself and uh, so many people actually swear by it. Uh, I have tried it before and I... But that was like three years ago or something and I wasn't like super impressed back then. But my skin changed a lot in the last three years, so... Uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a go and see how I like it now. Number four over here. So here we have a Clinique Moisture, Moisture Surge uh, Auto Replenishing Hydrator. 100 hours? Does that mean that it's like supposed to hydrate you for like 100 hours? Or it's just like 100 age random information? I'm not sure. Anyway, this is a hydrating product from Clinique. Uh, 15 mils with aloe vera and bioferment uh, technology. And there you go. Uh, I know it was very popular like uh, some years ago. My mom used to uh, use like a lot of Clinique. It was supposed to be very kind of gentle for your skin. But uh, to be honest, there are not many products I have tried. So that actually looks quite interesting. I do have dry skin generally, so why not? And 15 mils is, is quite a good size sample, right? Or like a travel size. Door number five up here. Oh, this is something new. This is... Higher Education Night Owl, well I'm definitely a night owl, a caffeinated eye cream, uh, all skin types, 15 mils, there you go, I don't know this brand, so this is actually really cool, I love um, testing new products and especially the brands I didn't really try before, uh, full size for sure, uh, for those days you need to look like you got 
eight hours of sleep, like today, for example. Uh, Night Owl, visibly the puffs, brightens, hydrates and tightens uh, under eyes with soft focus, light reflective technology. Did we mention this formula is caffeinated? Hold on to your iced coffee. That is actually really cool. Um, quite excited to try it out. and I'm super excited to try a new brand this time. Okay, day number six. It's over here. Okay, so here we have a uh, gold fudden MD and this is Solution Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystals Microderm Exfoliator. Uh, so this is a solution to a problem of dark complexion, I suppose. A daily facial exfoliator that adds hydration and removes dead surface cells, revealing brighter, radiant, healthier looking skin. We have 15 mils over here. I do not use exfoliators daily, especially this is supposed to be like a... Uh, like ruby crystal so I'm, I'm assuming this is like a mechanical kind of scrub uh not something i would use daily like if your skin tolerates acids and you kind of feel like you can use them daily then that could be beneficial for you but scrubs not necessarily uh i'm still going to give it a go i haven't tried this uh, particular product i don't think i have tried it uh so yeah why not i do like to use a mechanical scrub like once a month maybe but that's not something i use like super often so it's 15 mils travel size i would probably say uh so yeah uh not like extremely exciting for me but uh still fine i, I think some people might actually really like it okay moving on to door number seven just over here and what is this huh what is this guys a simple white box like no information nothing let's see something pink and we have oh that's actually really cool so we have parfum de mali and this is the lena body cream we have 50 mils so obviously this is i don't think this is like a full size but this is a fragranced uh, body cream so obviously you don't really use like lots of it obviously this will um hydrate your skin but the main uh, idea of this product is actually to layer with your fragrance and to give you like more intense uh, fragrance experience. Uh, so yeah, that is actually really cool. This fragrance is loved by so many people. This is like a rose with some lychee. Uh, most people actually really love it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure most of you will love it too. Uh, I like it. I like it. I'm not like a massive lover of the Lina, but uh, I like it. Uh, I'm really glad that I don't love it because it's very expensive, uh, the fragrance. So, yeah. Okay, number eight uh, over here. So here we have NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this one, okay, this is eyeshadow base. Uh, I used this before. Uh, and I didn't really like it back then that much because it felt very drying on my skin But again, this was like maybe three years ago or so and as I mentioned before my skin actually changed uh, in the recent years uh, So I'm definitely quite excited to have it here because I would love to give it a go once again and see how I feel about it now because you know sometimes uh, with some changes in your skin you might actually like products that you didn't like before so yeah that is quite cool we have 2.8 grams over here so this is i think this is a travel size door number nine by the way uh the sudden counter is really beautiful but these drawers are not super um sturdy this is not the type see this is not the type of um like a proper sturdy box like some of the calendars uh, of the other calendars offer it's more like um papery one that probably won't last for ages, but um, I mean, too bad. This other calendar is really pretty, so definitely something I would love to keep. Uh, okay, so here we have Oskia Renaissance Mask, and this is Nutri Active Brightening and Resurfacing Mask, 15 mils. This is a brilliant product if you haven't tried it before. It's really nice. It uh, actually um, slightly exfoliating. Uh, it contains lactic acid inside. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I personally actually have like five of these already, so like a little collection. Uh, so this is the only reason I'm, why I'm not super excited about like another one of those, but that's that's no one's fault, right? I can only blame myself for that because I'm a massive hoarder and I just buy too much stuff. Uh, all in all, I think this is a really nice product. So yeah. Uh, okay, number 10. So it's up here. And what is this? So this is Il Apothecary. Hyaluronic Eye Serum. Soothe, calm and hydrate with this nourishing vitamin rich eye serum packed with essential fatty acids and antioxidants. And this is remedy number seven. And we have 10 
mills over here. So that is actually quite cool. Uh, I'm assuming this could potentially be a full size product. It's 10 mils for like an eye product. This could be a full size. Uh, and it contains hyaluronic acid. It contains boswellia. Uh, and number seven, apparently in numerology, seven symbolizes the seed of life. It is about security, safety and rest. Very interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually quite cool. Uh, this is a new product for me as well. So uh, yeah. Quite excited to try it out. Number 11 over here. So here we have Verso Super C Serum with vitamin C, 10 mils. This is their travel size. Um, I really like this brand. Uh, the products are really lovely in general. They're quite efficient. Um, this uh, is the size that I usually use when traveling. I mean, obviously this is a travel size, right? But I do really like uh, the fact that this is, comes in this tube. Uh, it's much more comfortable when you're traveling, when you just kind of like try to pack all those like little minis in uh, these kind of like um, airplane bags. Uh, this actually uh, takes uh, like less space. Uh, so yeah, I like it. Uh, I had it already. I've been actually using this recently. Uh, so it's a nice refill here. Day number 12. Ooh, okay. This one I like. So this is X-Brow Eyebrow Conditioner. So there's that. So let's see, because we do have all those cards in these boxes, but I'm not going to read you like everything that's written in here because most of the times they're not like very important information. Uh, so this one here says, blah, 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 that's all important. Okay, packed with biotin, peptide, green tea, and hydrolyzed wheat protein, this gentle, sensitive vegan formula strives to get you fuller looking brows in less than a month. Mm, that actually sounds very exciting. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to try this out. Uh, this is probably one of the most exciting products for me in this event calendar so far. Okay, let's move on. Number 13. So here we have something uh, from Juice Beauty and this is Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum with encapsulated bio-retinol. And we have 7.8 mils. Uh, so there's that. Uh, again, a travel size. Um, I have never tried this particular product, so quite exciting to try. But I do feel like there are quite many travel sizes in, in this current calendar. So that could definitely be improved for the future reference, right? Um, it seems like there are quite many uh, travel sizes. We'll see how that will go. We're on day number 13. Uh, exciting product to try for me, at least. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I wish there would be like more, I wish there was more full sizes, like in general, or like a bigger size, you know, like half size or something like that. Okay, uh, let's move on. Door number 14, this is the one up here. Okay, so my dream just came true. This looks very much full size to me. And I actually really like this brand. Um, I have uh, tried a couple of products uh, a few years back and I really love them. This is Polar and this is, um, uh, what is this? Polar Night Distressing Mask with Boreal Algae. So yeah, that's definitely very exciting. Uh, this is 50 ml um, face mask. Uh, apply a thick layer on your perfectly cleansed face and neck two to three times a week or as a daily treatment. Let the texture penetrate a few minutes and enjoy your night. So this is something you don't have to like rinse off. You just can just apply it on your face and just leave it like that. Uh, that is actually very exciting. Uh, and yeah, hopefully the sizes now will get a little bit bigger that we're approaching day number 25, right? Okay, number 15 down here. Okay, so I guess we do have another full size product. This is uh, an eyeshadow from MAC. And this is Amber Light Frost. So there's that. I'm obviously going to show you and swatch it for you because why not? Uh, the only problem I have with this is that I don't use that much of like single eyeshadows. Kind of like palettes, you know, I'm a palette person. But yeah, the shade's actually really nice. Um, there we go. This is the color, really pretty. Yeah, I don't have like anything against a single eyeshadow, um, single eyeshadows, but I just gravitate towards palettes. I just always reach for a palette when I'm doing my makeup. So that's the reason why I don't usually use these, but this is, this color is actually really nice. So yeah, that's good. Um, let's move on to door number 16. Okay, number 16 is over here. 
and we have two items in here. So here we have Versace Dylan Blue uh, Eau de Toilette, this is for men, and then we have Eau de Parfum for women. So that's quite a cool duo, I think. Uh, we have a little bit like five mils of like each of these fragrances. Uh, I'm going to show you, this is the one for women. And let me just show you the other one as well. And this is the masculine one. So that is really cool. Uh, our card here says, the dew of scents opens with the Mediterranean freshness of, of bergamot, fig leaves, and grapefruit. That is deepened by aquatic notes. Uh, that sounds really cool, but that doesn't sound very Christmassy to me, which I personally do not mind. Uh, I do prefer maybe getting um, more like autumnal, wintery fragrances uh, in advent calendars, but I don't really get too mad if I if the fragrances are more like springtime uh, appropriate. I don't really, I mean, I'm just going to use them later on there, so that's fine. Okay, number 17 up here. Okay, this one is not very impressive to be honest. This is Dr. Barbara Sturm uh, Glow Drops. And don't get me wrong, I love this product. I really love this product. This is probably the only product from Dr. Barbara Sturm that I would even repurchase if I if I needed to, but I don't because I have that. I have like a couple of like bottles of this product. Uh, but this is tiny. This is so tiny. It's like a proper sample. I'm pretty sure they just give the, these away for free. Uh, so yeah, that, that's not impressive. Gorgeous product. I mean, it's good to try it, but this is something that you should find in your gift of purchase, maybe not in advent calendar. Uh, especially not in a calendar that's priced. Um, it's not priced over 200 pounds, but it's still priced uh, in this kind of like higher bracket, I would say. So yeah, okay, let's move on to door number 18. Let's forget about uh, the number 17. Uh, so here we have this work, Stress Check Roll-On, Skin Moisturizing Beauty Oil to help refresh with a calming fragrance. Okay, so that's a kind of like a roll-on product. I can't really smell anything. You know what? I've just uh, I kind of sprayed this uh, fragrance uh, in the first door uh, and this is all I can smell now. It's beautiful, by the way, but I can't really smell anything of that. Uh, this is supposed to be skin moisturizing, so I I would kind of like apply this on my pulse point. So I'm not sure why this is needs to be why this needs to be um, skin moisturizing. Oh, it smells really nice actually. It does smell really nice. Um, yeah, I mean it could be skin moisturizing, but I don't know why would you put like a roll on product like all over your skin to moisturize it. I don't know, but it smells really nice. Um, these are really like calming. Um, kind of like relaxing fragrances, so that is actually really cool. Okay, let's move on to the day number 19, which is over here. Okay, so here we have Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Uh, I don't like this mascara, okay? Uh, I know there are people who like it, so this is not that it's like about mascara or whatever, but it's just not my type of mascara, and to be honest, I'm very picky when it comes to my mascara, so obviously, uh, there is a big chance that the mascara I will find in Advent Calendar will be the one that I will not like. Um, this is a travel size again. Uh, I feel like this should be maybe like a full size. That would be nicer, right? Uh, I do like the brand so far. I do like the product, but I feel like uh, there are a little bit too many minis in travel sizes. Like I don't really feel the proper like value of this Advent Calendar yet. Okay, so let's move on. I mean, we don't really have that many doors left, right? So let's move on to day number 20, which is over here. Okay, this looks better. Uh, so here we have the Organic Pharmacy, and this is Honey and Jasmine, uh, Firm and Moisture. Uh, but what is this? Yeah, Honey and Jasmine Mask. Okay, <laughs> the notice are inf important information. So this is for dry and dehydrated skin uh, to firm and moisture, and this is 60 ml, so very much a full size. I like it. Uh, I like face masks, um, so obviously this is going to be something uh, that will be very much used by me. So it says here, apply a generous layer to cleanse skin, leave for 10 to 20 minutes and remove with a muslin cloth soaked in a hand hot water. Yeah, or you can actually leave it overnight as well if you'd like to. So that is really cool, uh, and I'm glad we have uh, a little bigger size now. Okay, day number 21 over here. Okay, so here we have two products by Sacha Juan, and this is uh, Ocean Mist uh, Volume Shampoo and Ocean Mist Volume Conditioner. They're both 30 mils. Uh, yeah, 
I mean, that's what I would expect from an advent calendar that's priced like over 100 pounds. Um, I expect a shampoo and a conditioner to be in one drawer, which uh, is actually, which happened here, so that's all good. Uh, by the way, this uh, brand has been very popular in advent calendars this year. I uh, actually have like a little collection going on now, so yeah, I need to just start testing these now. Okay, day number 22 over here. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah, that's what I like. So we have Fiji Skin Votary Super Seed Nutrient Cream, uh, and we have 50 mils over here. So yeah, these are the products I actually really like in this advent calendar. Uh, I really like Votary products. Uh, they're perfect for a dry skin. This is how it looks. Uh, and this is a full-size product. So yeah, yeah, we're just getting somewhere now. Day number 23. Okay, so this is Dr. Seba Serum Repair Hyaluronic Acid Skin Hydrating and Repairing Serum. This is 20 mils. They do sell this. Uh, this is just like a smaller size of the serum. It's a really nice hydrating uh, product. It has uh, hyaluronic acid inside, obviously, but also some peptides, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that's uh, definitely a good product. Uh, so yeah. This advent calendar is ending quite strong, so we'll see. I mean, we have two more days, right? So we'll see before I just, you know, get too excited. Uh, day number 24 over here, Christmas Eve. Oh, okay, so we have another fragrance. This is Musk Ravanger uh, by Maurice Roussel. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, and yeah, let's have a look at the um, card. Uh, the scent of freshly baked gingerbread. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be amazing. The, the scent of a freshly baked gingerbread is ir irresistible, but we think the beguiling musk ravager or the profound is a strong contender. Okay. The intoxicating aromas of amber, vanilla, patchouli, and sandalwood make it a perfect fragrance for merry nights and uh, winter walks. Okay, that sounds amazing too, but I kind of was expecting gingerbread. That would be lovely. I do love my uh, gourmand fragrances, so I kind of was hoping for, uh, for gingerbread, but no. They just teased me here. So this is the fragrance. This is really nice, but it definitely leans slightly masculine. I like it. I like it, but this is not going to be a fragrance for everyone. Uh, so yeah, really beautiful fragrance for like winter. So I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, we do have a selection of fragrances. I think like the two of these fragrances that we have here are very winter kind of specific. And then we have the uh, Versace fragrances, which are better for like uh, springtime. Uh, okay, so that was our day number 24. I actually like that one. And now it's time for day number 25. So let's see. Okay, so this is a good day for sure. Uh, this is Hot Lips uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick. So I already have this lipstick, uh, so I'm going to show you mine. Uh, this is Red Hot Susan. So this is how it looks inside. And I'm going to swatch it for you as well. There you go. It's like this kind of like a warm red shade. It's really beautiful. It's actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. So yeah, this is uh, the way it looks. So this is a lovely day number 25. I already have this lipstick, but again, uh, nothing I can do about it, but uh, definitely a really nice finish for this advent calendar. So there you go. This is the whole Fenwick advent calendar fully unboxed. What do you guys think? I personally think this is a good advent calendar. There are some like really nice products uh, that are a little bit different to uh, other advent calendars, but I feel like there are too many minis, like in general. Uh, if they swapped uh, like two minis for like uh, bigger sizes, I would be like 100% happy, but at some point I felt like there were like too many minis in a row. Uh, that uh, Dr. Barbara Stern product, that was a little bit disappointing. I mean, no, that was disappointing, like full on disappointing. Uh, or maybe they could just leave, give us like a full size mascara. That would be nice, right? That wouldn't really cost them that much more. Uh, so I feel like this is good, but it definitely could be better. And it has a really strong competition in a similar price bracket. But all in all, I think it's a good advent calendar. The packaging is beautiful. So I'm glad to have some uh, products I couldn't really find in the other advent calendars in this one. So yeah, this is everything from me. Thank you very much for watching. For more uh, advent calendar unboxings, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.